No! An emu wildly considered to be an apex predator in Australia. It just triggered a mine! Fuck you, apex pre- Oh god, it made it through. G'day, mates. Before we can begin today's video, we've got to show you the uh, prequel. Uh, well, not prequel, but the one that came before. Welcome to Modern Blood 2. So this is a video game that was actually awesome. I played it a lot as a kid. So you got our little guys here, we order them around. And you hold the line against the Germans. Hang on, can't I like taunt them? I want the Germans to come at me. Here we go, taunt the Germans. There we go, here come the Germans, the 12th SS Panzer, there we go. Welcome to Skirmish Line. This is the sequel and they took that exact game, like it is pretty much the exact same, but they really refined it. They made it a good game. Like this isn't just like, oh, it's on Steam and it's another version. It's got different enemies. It's actually refined. The controls are better. The combat's better. There's more modes. It's insanely good. And the best thing of all, if we go to here, you'll notice it uh, features a specific war. So it's got a bunch of Anzacs in it. As well as something else. But we'll get to that later. Actually, you will just have seen the title of the video. But shh. It's honestly pretty cheap, and the base setting is Americans versus the Japanese. Then you've got United Fronts, where it's the Chinese versus the Japanese. Then you have Mad Jack, which, have a guess. There's also a campaign mode, which we'll play as well today, but let's give a go on defense in depth. I've already played a fair few hours of this, uh, hours of this rather, because it's just really good to remind me of uh, my childhood. I used to play this uh, Mud and Blood, the original, and Mud and Blood 2, and wasn't there a Vietnam? Was that the original? I can't quite remember. Because I've already ranked up a fair bit, what we're going to do is we're going to start the engagement with some pre-established defenses. We're going to have a squad of Anzac diggers, hell yeah. We're going to bring an officer onto the field. We're going to unlock the deployment of Anzac commandos so we can build those bastards. Uh, do we want diggers? Yeah, let's get the diggers and the Gurkhas in. There we go. Well, uh, that is an absolute load of points I spent a while gathering that I'm wasting all at once, but let's do it. This is going to be a very silly round. Uh, can we... Oh, I, oh, I can't, I can't give everyone Lee Enfields yet. Oh, we could also do a, uh, a challenge as well, but I think for this one, we'll just start with no challenge. We'll go basic, simple, uh, game mode. See, in the Jack in the Box, I reached 135. In Windfall, 120. But, uh, I think I'm gonna go just basic gameplay. Let's do this. Basic gameplay with all of the extra features I've just unlocked and paid for. Oh, wow. What? Oh, we've got the food. That's right. You can build like a hot pot that uh, that makes food. We've got some mines. We've got some barbed wire. Here's our officer. We're going to send him to collect the medical. Actually, we're not going to do that until someone's wounded. I think that's how medical crates works. Here's our Anzacs. Hello, lads. So we're going to roll them up. We're going to start building some defenses. Um, actually, actually, no, we're not going to build defenses. See, so there's A, B, and C, right? We're currently in A. When we fall back from A, we go to area B. When we fall back from B, we go to area C. Now, we know that each area is going to have some defenses because that's what I paid for. Actually, and let's just do a quick uh, roll call. Okay, so I've got four Anzac diggers. Is that it? Yeah, four diggers and my officer. Okay. So here comes the first. That's a Japanese engineer who's rolling up here to try and uh, fight me. I'm going to pick up this crate as well. Oh, we found a fully functional soldier inside of this crate. This game is a little silly, as you may begin to notice. It's quite fun, though. Uh, we've now got a signaler who's going to join us. So the plan is we'll fight here for a little bit. We'll hold the line until those mines detonate and we get pushed back. Then we'll fall back to the next area where there might be better defenses, hopefully some trenches or something, and we'll actually dig in there. Because if we retreat, we take all our units with us, but we don't take our defenses because... It's rather hard to take a trench with you, you'll find. Let's get told you what for. Thank you. The voice acting and like little screams and stuff they make is actually pretty good. I like it a lot. Oh, hello. There's a mine man running at some mines. This is going to be quite unfortunate. This is this is about to be really sad. He's about to meet his father, see? <laughs> the anti-personnel mine. Oh, 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 he's very close. Don't walk any further. Oh, no. Wait a sec. Okay. Right, got it. I was going to say, that wasn't exploding. It did. It very well did. Wait, how does this guy have 104 health? I'm... What? what? Well, that was rude. You're not allowed to say that. I'm going to get demonetized. Oh, there's a flamethrower. That's not nice. Please kill him. Oh, boy. Flamethrowers are terrifying, even if they're on your own side, because... Because friendly fire. It exists in this game. It's bad. Oh, thank God we can build the Stuart. Finally, let's go. Oh, yeah. Stuart time. Hey, there we go. Oh, God. No, run. Stop trying to fire your weapon and just run. I do not know. Oh, it's because of the monsoon. That's why you didn't die. 
Run, 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 run. How is this one guy not dead yet? There we go. Yeah, bicycle. Hey, how dare you? Oh god, the officer's down. Where is the medic? Medic, 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 go, 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 go. As soon as everyone's operational, we are leaving. I can't hold this point anymore. We need to get that bloody uh, officer back up on his feet. All right, officer is walking again. Bonsai incoming. We are leaving. Uh, let's go. No, thank you. I am good. All right, it's fortifying time. Let's dig ourselves a trench right here, which is going to fill with some water, which is unfortunate, but uh, we'll be fine. Move some leads up to there and get a sandbag put in front. Here we go. Bit of a sandbag right there. There we go. I've decided I'll bring in a big fortification, one of these, the M45 quad mount. Um, actually, where do you want to stick? Probably up here, actually, where it's got a clear line of fire. Probably, like, right here. Wouldn't be bad. Let's see. There. Works well. Then we can stick some Marston matting underneath it, so that means they can't build tunnels. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, officer, officer, where are we? Concentrate your firepower on that thing. That is a big... Oh, God. Oh, dear God. It's just driving. Guys, use your main cannon, please. Use your main cannon. Use your main cannon. It will literally kill you. Oh, you missed. Okay. Well, that thing is essentially a giant suicide truck. So, just gonna die if we touch that. Oh, you got it. Thank God. By the by, the black bars at the top and bottom of the screen are actually part of the game. It's just, it's just what the game looks like. Oh, wow. I can change it to vertical gameplay so it can be like the old days. Look at that. Man, look. Oh, that is sickening. I, oh, my brain is just shat the bed. I can't understand this. Take me back. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's the full screen button. Take me back. Profanity for- Oh, that probably turns off all the racism that I've been hearing. Got it. Watch out for those nips. Oh, yeah, that's why I need the bloody filter. I'm gonna start handing out hand grenades to my lads as well. It's quite effective to give them to, uh, to you guys. They'll start yeeting them around and really screw up the, uh, Japanese's day. Japanesees. Oh god, god, that's a suicide bomber! Ah! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, please. Lads, 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 lads. Concentrate fire! Kill him! Oh my god! How? No! That, uh, that is the bad part of this game when things like that happens. Why did you shoot the bazooka man? I'm so mad right now. Everything's dying. Yep, he's dead. This gentleman is called a fucking rage quit. Fuck you. We're playing a different game mode. Okay, using my available supply balance, I need to recruit soldiers in my campaign menu, arm my squad in the roster, no additional assets available during my deployment. Okay. We gain renown, we upgrade, we carry on. Logistics points can be unlocked via the renown. Okay. Okay, we're going to go two riflemen, an officer, a medic, and then we're going to get an AT bazooka man. Right, that's that's a nice spread of lads. So we've got something for tank, something for tanks, something for infantry, officer, lads. Right, cool. Let's organize our guys now. Oh hell yeah, we can give them the Owens. Ah, oh, the Owen gun. Yes. Field tested on the streets of Chicago. <laughs> you might as well do the dumb thing I was doing earlier. So watch this. We do this. Okay. Put the guys like so. And there we go, we've formed a box formation. Whoa. Oh god. Alright. Oh well, mission success. There we go. I'm just using the medic as a bullet sponge because he can heal himself. And as long as they're targeting him, they're not targeting the actual fighters. <laughs> as I was saying. You know what, Lindsay? Time to get you stuck in on the fighting. Go, Lindsay, go. Kick the shit out of him. We're basically just forcing him to fight. Oh god! Rimmy! <laughs> Stop throwing grenades at the medic! <laughs> Roger's back on his feet. Here. Go, Roger. Beat the shit out of this guy. I'll... Stop throwing grenades at the medic! Stop launching rockets at the officers! Uh, look at Rimmy go. He's got some legs on him. Was there seriously one enemy? I'm honestly gonna switch to the next mode just because this is kind of boring. Like, there's no challenge here. Some days I just want to walk over a mine so that I'll have something to actually think about.
Some days. I was only playing it for another round so I can unlock a jeep. Because I'm already just flattening the enemy. Why not also bring a jeep? Hi. Hello there. I now have a jeep. Would you like to provide any sort of threat to me? Can I not control it? What? What? Wow, my god. I was... <sighs> I was actually about to attempt to run my soldier onto one of the mines, and I literally killed all the enemies before I could even give him an order. Well, campaign mode is so easy, it's bloody boring. Tell you what, let's actually play the final mode for today, because my god, that campaign was boring. We are playing Mad Jack, because Mad Jack and his squad have been deployed on a scouting mission, investigating some rumors about strange birds of unusual size. We're also going to take its only a flesh wound challenge, which means we heal at 10% of the normal rate. We receive two more command points per wave. Let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, they haven't allied with the emus as well, have they? What? Is that Mad Jack, is he? All right, lads. Let's do this. Oh god, Mad Jack just taunted the enemy. Why would you do- <gasps> No! An emu wildly considered to be an apex predator in Australia. It just triggered a mine! Fuck you, apex- Oh god, it made it through. Oh, these are just Anzacs. They're not Anzac diggers. So I don't actually get the uh, deployability with them. Damn it. Okay, got one of them with the mine. Lads. Lads, the emus are coming. Lads. Oh god. Oh, we got him, we got him. Nice. Oh, Mad Jack tosses double the grenades. What a lad. Tell you what, let's get the Anzac Mortar Carrier in. It's a universal... Whoa, it's got a machine gun on it as well. It's a universal mortar carrier. Here we go. God, this thing's pretty neat, actually. <laughs> okay, I do like the voice lines about the Emu War. That's pretty nice. Oh, fuck you. Fuck! Why? My fucking motor carrier blew up the supplies. Now my office is dead. My god, a commando's about to die as well. The commando is dead. I, I've decided on a not playing this video game strategy. Fuck it, conscripts. Give me conscripts. All every day, conscripts. More. Send in the next wave. Give me more conscripts. Before we bounce, I guess we'll show off two more things. There is sector uh, offense as well, or sector capture or whatever the hell they call this one. Uh, but basically what you do in this one is you try and move up to the far end. You basically battle your way through people and you advance to the next area and get more supplies that way. So you do this. Rightio, now that we're advanced, we go advance to the next sector and huzzah! There we go, we get 10 more points. And the last mode is United Front. So, let's see... Oh wow, we don't have much stuff. Warrant officer to wave his sword while yelling at your men to do things. A signaler. A martyr. Oh no, that means I get the explosive voice and conscripts. I also get a gun cart. And a Renault FT-17. Nice. I have no artillery. The only artillery I can get is the request to stop sending artillery, in fact. Oh, I get to choose an equipment package. Ah, that's quite cool, actually. I can choose Germany. What? Shovel volunteer. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, it's got two machine guns on it. Go, gun cart, go. I've given the shovel boy a Molotov cocktail as well. Off you go, shovel boy. Beat him to death. Shot! Oh god. I hope you're beating someone to death in there. I can't quite see. Oh my god, look, the warrant officer actually has a sword. What? Yes. That has been Skirmish Line. I played a lot more of that than I thought I would. Obviously, still a frustrating game at times. It is still a silly little one, but it's quite cheap and quite fun, and I think I've got my money's worth out of it. It's a good play if you remember Mud and Blood from the old days. Until next time, everyone, thank you all for watching. I've been Remy. See you next time.